Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss Do It All, and today we're going to make a photo frame music plaque with your favorite picture and song together with a QR code with the direct link to the song. So come on, let's get started. So how you get the QR code, you want to go to QR code generator. I have the, you want to sign up if you don't have it. If you do, you want to log in. I have it, so I'm going to log in. Okay. Create QR code. In a separate tab. You want to go to YouTube. Get the song you want. Once you get to the video, you want to go down to the Share tab, open it up, go to Copy, right-click Copy. I just want to make sure it's the right song. I'm just looking to make sure it's the right video. Go to Website. Go to Next. Paste next. I would suggest before downloading it, checking, making sure it's the correct QR code. Then you want to take your phone. Some phones have a QR code already. In the drop box here this one doesn't so you could download the app so one has a lot of ads a couple ads pop up skinny Press the web. Takes you directly to the song. Okay, so once you've made sure it's the right QR code, you could spice it up if you want. You can fix the color, the code color, add a frame. I don't want to do any of that, so I'm just going to go ahead and download it, which I've already done a zillion times, I think. And you want to save it. Save as whatever you want to put it, save. And then when you go to Cricut, just upload it. So once you have the QR code downloaded, you just want to upload the image that you want. This is, I know this is a different image and song that I'm working on now. That's why I'm showing you first how to insert the QR code because in my original video I forget to show you how to put it on the image.
Okay, you want to upload image. Go to your browser. Click the QR code. background get them all a little bit And I say just place it, size it down, place it where you want it to go. Just show you again. I don't recommend that exact same QR code scanner. It'll only let you scan it once, then you have to close the app to rescan again. So annoying. But it's all right. And then the eggs, but ultimately it gets the job done. I've figured a couple different methods. So here we have a plexiglass. I got this from Home Depot. It's eight by ten. Put it in the frame with a picture on it, your wedding picture with your wedding song, and have the QR code to link you directly to the song. This is also some plexiglass from the dollar store. I couldn't find one where I didn't. It does have a flap on the back. I looked up many ways to break it nicely. You can just crack it off. I've seen somebody do it and just leave the flap on, but that drove me crazy, but I do love it as just a stand. I did make another one that I'll show you in a minute, just using the laminator. So let's go ahead and just start with showing you how to get the image, get the QR code and how to place the play button and all of that. Let's go. So you just want to readjust. So you just want to Google whatever image you want or get whatever image you want out of your phone. So Google this. Just save it. Right click. Save as. I already have it here as Lauren. Save. I'm not going to resave it since I already have it. Then you want to go to your Cricut Design Space. Go to New. Yeah, I'm going to place it. Go to New. Upload. Since you're doing it for the first time, you want to go to Upload Image, your browser. Get the picture. Open it. Go to simple, you just want to keep it as is. I already have my words on it, but I simply just 
I'm gonna save as one. I'm gonna have another one now. <laughs> um, insert image. And how I got the text on there. Cap. And I actually just like the font it was in. Change the color. And the size I have is seven by six. So you want to highlight it, make the width seven. You want to unlock it. Press enter. Make sure you always have image or whatever you're working with highlighted so it could do the same thing. Here, just make the same size. Unlock it first. I always kind of got to go back and do it. So there's that. I'm going to just get rid of this. I'm going to go to make it. Continue. Send to printer. I'm not going to do that. I already have it printed out. I've done one already. I did print this out on glossy photo paper. Um, I'm not going to recommend using glossy photo paper. I do have a printer guy I talked to. And he was like, don't use photo paper. I touched it before it was dry. He said it just takes so much ink. There is so many other things you could use. I also use sticker paper using one clear sticker paper. I've printed it out on regular paper. I haven't made one using it yet. I was only going to use that if doing it the laminated way that I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I would say label, sticker label paper clear sticker paper, st white sticker paper, printable vinyl, just not glossy photo paper. It took so much ink and so much time to dry. See where I touched it a couple times. So anyway, printed that out. And now we're just gonna get the play line and the title. Yeah, I don't do it all together. Maybe, you know, I just find it to be a little more easier to just keep them separate. So how I do it is So what you want to do here is get your phone Pull up Pandora, go to the search, ask Pandora to listen to Miss Education of Lauren Hill. She's going to ask if you want to watch a quick ad, say yes, watch the ad. Once the ad is over, it'll pop up. Once it pops up, the album pops up, go ahead, uh, find the playlist right there pick the song you want once you pick the song you want you go back to the display where to show the play button and all of that then you take a screenshot and that's it so we got this screenshot. 
You just want to send a screenshot to your email, pull it up on your computer, go to Cricut Home. Yes, I do. New project, replace it if you have to. Go to upload, upload image, browse. Your screenshot should be right there. Open it up. Simple. Continue. Back it up. Now back. Okay. Um. I do. Crop. That part. That little piece off at the bottom. Cool. It's a lot at the top, too. So just don't. Nah, I mean, a little. Yeah. But that's a little too much for me. I don't want to unnecessarily cut, you know, your vinyl. I kind of. <clears throat> Mouse acting crazy. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Remove your background. Go to political stupidness. Clean up. Whatever you need to. Thing looks good, continue, see what's there. I usually see what it is. Play line. Well, you know, whatever. Kind of, you know, initially and And then you just want to do the same thing for the title line. So I'm going to go ahead and, because I'm going to use two different papers. So I'm trying to think, I want this to be in the glitter. So I'm going to do that one first. Insert image. Oh, 
Oh, come on, cricket, don't start. Unlock image. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Let me put this on gray. Yeah, maybe that's how I met and everything was all black. Mm -hmm. the mirror on for iron on. The other material I, is not, so you don't need to do that. With the iron on, you do want to have it face down, glossy side down. I like to add more pressure just because it is a thicker material. Upload insert image unlock this point five five or oh, that's the height the width is seven point five height is point Maybe I want to make it six five. Looks very small. Yeah, that works for me. I'm gonna duplicate it. The Cricut's going to do the same thing as before and cut the words out of the title. We'll go ahead and read it out and then get ready to place our image and our words on our plaque.
So I'm gonna go ahead and get the plaque, remove the protective film, throw that away, size up the image and how I wanna place it on the plaque. Remove the image from the backing. Place it nice and slowly, a little slower than me, carefully, so it doesn't cause a lot of bubbles. If it does, they do tend to go down a little more over time, so do not press and rub. Try to rub the bubbles out. You will only smudge the image and get ink all over your fingers. You'll see in a sec. So yeah, no rubbing. I'm just cutting my words in half. I had made two, so I'm just gonna cut them in half, get one of them ready to be placed onto the plaque. Just noticing how I smudged it. I'm gonna work them words up onto the transfer tape. Place it where I would like it, right about there, slowly from the image, from the middle out is the best way to lay your vinyl, and then rub it down, slip off the tape. Now I'm going to do something a little different with the play line, like I said, that is heat transfer, so I have the mini heat press. Have it on the second setting, which is medium heat. I'm going to place it right there. When you are using the heat transfer on stuff like plastic and glass, I do use it on glass. You have to be careful not to overheat it. Glass will break, plastic will melt. Sometimes I use the wax paper. Sometimes I feel like I could judge how hot it's getting. So it's to each its own, to, you know, your own discretion. If you feel it's getting hot, take a little break. And when you feel it's ready, you can go ahead and peel the transfer paper off. So I'm going to just do a real quick demonstration on how I did the laminated version. Nothing... Nothing fancy, just something so you could get an idea of how I did this. The first time I did it, I did use clear sticker paper. So. I was going to use regular paper if I did it again, or, you know, whatever someone desires. But I did want to see, you know, how it came out, which is like regular paper or sticker paper, just not the transparent paper. I just put the vinyl on. Like, oops. Anything else really? Just try to be careful. Like I said, I'm not, you know, really. It's not to say not caring. I just want to show you guys I'm not really making this for any purposes. So, whatever don't come to lay down, I'm not going to really go back over.
Okay, I couldn't find my other words, even though I'm not supposed to be caring. I just want to give a. I want you guys to get a good idea. This didn't come up at all, so I'm going to not care a little more. it is me and vinyl we do not get along it never want to work for me i don't know if i gotta scrub harder i be scraping this girl ah, my, my little scraper all oh, i've already done over it like i said this is just uh, i could have left it with the first little See, it's going there nicely, though. It's going to laminate paper real nice and easy. You just want to close it up. Now, I don't know how it's going to act with these little studs on there. I ain't do that before, but, you know, I always want to try stuff. And you just insert it to seal the way down. I'll put it in a little crooked. But hopefully it just feeds nicely. And it just go through on its own. I'm so tired of seeing little Kim crotch. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make sure you put it in nicely. It did bunch up over there. But besides that, oh yeah, and the little studs. I don't know where the other ones are. Uh oh. Thing stuck in the machine or damaged my machine. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look. Oh, yeah. Had every all went well. This would have been the finished outcome. So to wrap it all up, here's the finish, all three finished products. So just hang that one up where you like. Well, that's it for today. I appreciate you all for coming. Hope you come again next time. If you liked it, please like, comment, or subscribe. 